Hello, it's Maxine K and Yoga with a love note for you. It's uh, nice to cuddle this girl. It seems that there are a lot of people in our lives right now who are going through some rather seemingly major medical challenges. And so you and I, since we know the truth, which is there's only God and nothing else, and that underlying all the experiences that people have, there is the unimpeachable wholeness of the universe supporting us all, we realize that it is not helpful to get too worried or overly concerned about the people who are moving through these experiences, but to hold the high watch, as we say. What does that mean, to hold the high watch? Well, it simply means keeping with the truth rather than getting too absorbed in the external appearances. Remember, Jesus told us to look beyond the appearances and judge righteous judgment, the right use of judgment. And judgment, when it is spiritualized, becomes discernment. And we see, not in duality, but we see very clearly we discern the truth beyond the error. And so the people we care about who be may be moving through difficult experiences, and maybe their experiences have to do with, with uh, challenges in prosperity or difficulties in a relationship. It doesn't matter what it is that the problem may be that they're having. What matters is that we can keep the high watch, look through the appearance, and remember that if someone is experiencing a physical challenge, we remember the purity of spirit that is flowing through them all the time. If they're feeling limited or lack in some way, we remind ourselves that this is a limitless, prosperous universe and every sentient being within it has the ability to receive all of the good that they need in every form that they need it. If they're having relationship problems, then we just remember that love goes before us and it makes the crooked places straight. That love is the answer, no matter what the question may be. So it's a wonderful opportunity for us to continue to know the truth, not only for ourselves, sorry, <laughs> but for everybody in our lives. Our friends, our loved ones, our neighbors, people we pass on the street, our co-workers, to look at each one of them and to see their divine origin and to see the life of God moving through them with grace and ease. How wonderful it is to be alive and aware that there is spirit, God, divine presence, and nothing else. And what we perceive to be other than that cannot be other than that because there's nothing but the divine life itself. Now, human beings, you and I seem to fall into that category. <laughs> human beings, since we have the ability to make our own decisions about what we think and what we feel and, and, and how we express it in our lives, we'll sometimes make the mistake of bringing things into our experience that we didn't really want because it's just a matter of misusing the law. And it's not something we do intentionally. It's just something we do out of our dang humanness sometimes, wouldn't you think? So how wonderful it is that we're here for each other. That when one person forgets how beautiful and divine he or she may be, that others may step up and continue to keep the high watch, see the truth, know the truth. And as Emma Curtis Hopkins would say, let truth be on your tongue, truth on our tongue. Speak only words of life. Speak only words of optimism and constructive ideas and feelings. We can do that for each other. Don't you think we'd better? I do. This one knows that already. She keeps the high watch <laughs> just by snuggling in and being not just experiencing, but being the love that she is. Let's all be the love that we are. Let's all look at each other and look at this planet and look at all the conflicts just long enough to realize that's a call for prayer. And let's keep the high watch with our earth and, and all of humanity as well. We can do it. We better do it. That's what we're doing. So thank you so much. 
Um, please be with us on Sunday. Actually, you're going to hear from Reverend Mike uh, before Sunday. But on Sunday, you'll hear Reverend Mike because it's his turn to speak. So have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Yoga sends her love and her highest regards. And we'll be with you again soon. Bye.